the main challenge for working on gender equality is still remaining, remaining the same just to make it part of our core business and to see that gender is men and women, it is young and old, and uh, that we make this as a part of our core business. And instead of doing specific things for women or doing specific things for youth, we are operating in African societies where family cohesion is very strong, but also gender disparities may be very strong. So harnessing the potentials of every member of this society, young, old, men, women, that will make the difference. And that means it must be our core business. How to facilitate that? I think it should be part already of our commissions that uh, our donors insist in completely genderized indicators where we are obliged to deliver in quantitative terms uh, that can be tracked. So, and that would be part of the mainstreaming. As we are all uh, human beings uh, with uh, comparable needs, comparable needs, so there should be also sort of standard facilitation protocols that are valid for the different gender categories and where we are able to say that is, uh, that is valid. Doing business is valid for men, women, young, old. Doing better business is the same. Um, getting organized in producer organizations is valid because all gender people from all gender categories, they need to, 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 uh, to come together to have more power and more saying in the society, in, policy, in policies or even in trade, for example. Once we talk about standard support protocols, it means also standard delivery uh, uh, criteria for example, that you have benchmarks that, for example, trainers that serve, serve uh, rural people, that they serve with such standard protocols, uh, the mix of genders. Yeah? Because if we work in uh, rural communities, it is important to harness all the energy, the skills, the experiences. Young people have other skills and experience than uh, older ones. Women have other facilities, for example, than men, and bringing this to get together, that makes the difference. Maybe you can say something about the fact that um, mm -hmm. you still have to continue the conversation because people are still talking about whether to talk to men or women. Or... That's another challenge, I think, that is rooted quite profoundly, uh, how to, to make the change make the change and bring this gender comprehension, understanding, understanding uh, to another level. And uh, we are all the product of our societies, all, and what we need. And there, I think, as uh, development advisors or people in working and development professionals, together with our African partners, we, we must check our unconscious mental models about gender. How do we perceive these different gender? What is gender? What are the differences? And why is it so? And, and what do we lose if we perpetuate what we have unconsciously in us as mental models. So only if we uh, cross these lines, I would say, with ourselves, then we can make the real change.